Hey folks, Shirley here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a simple tool that will save you hours of work when you're trying to source products online. Now the tool I'm referring to is called a browser clipper, and it's gonna allow you to go to any vendor's website and immediately grab the product images and all the product details and save that information to your Design Files account so that you can use it within your projects. So let's go ahead, we're gonna jump right in and I'll show you exactly how it works. Now, if you're interested in using the Design Files Browser Clipper, all you have to do is log into your Design Files account, go into the menu in the top right hand corner and click Get Browser Clipper. That will take you to this page and all you have to do is drag the Add to Design Files button up to your bookmarks bar. Now, first we need to make sure the bookmarks bar is visible. So I'm in Google Chrome. What I'm gonna do is I'll go over to the three dots here in the top right hand corner, scroll down to bookmarks, scroll over here to show bookmarks bar. Click that and it's gonna expand my uh, bookmarks bar. Now that that's visible, I'm just gonna click and drag this button up to my bookmarks bar and you'll notice there's kind of like a little no-go icon there. If you're hovering over the right place, it'll turn into a plus sign and then you can release it and it's gonna show like this. Now that that's added, I can go to any site and I can start clipping products. So let's go through here to CB2. There's a particular chair I'm gonna grab. And when you're grabbing products from another vendor's site, you don't wanna grab images from this view. You wanna make sure you click directly into the product so that you go to the product page and this is where you're gonna get the best images and all the product information. So let's say I wanna clip this product. I'm just gonna click on the Add to Design Files option in my bookmarks bar and my clipper is gonna expand out from the right side of the screen. Now it's grabbed this image of the chair where it's shot within a space, but I actually don't want that one. I want this chair right here where it's shot on a white backdrop. So if I want this image, all I have to do is click the grab icon up here, click on the image, and it's gonna fill it in for me. And I also have the option to clip additional product images, and I would highly recommend that you do that if the vendor provides those additional product shots because you'll be able to then pull in whatever version you need into any design board that you're trying to create. So just to give you an example, if I wanted to create a design board like this, I could take the forward facing view of this chair, but if I wanna create a full room design, maybe I want the back of the chair. So grab as many versions as you can, and that way, no matter what design board you're creating, you'll be able to pull in the appropriate version. So I'm gonna click on clip additional images. It's gonna give me another grab icon that I can use, and I'm just gonna switch over to this version of the chair, click the grab icon, click the chair, and I'm gonna make my way through all these versions quickly. And I'll also take this one right here. Perfect, so I've got lots of options to choose from. Now down here, it's already grabbed the product name, vendor, and the link. It actually looks like it grabbed a little extra information here on the product name, so I'm gonna reclip it. So again, I'm just gonna click on the grab icon, click on the name of the chair, and it'll fill it in. Now down here, I can add in the price, SKU, description, dimensions, and material and finish. And again, I'm just gonna use those grab icons. Click the grab icon, click on the price. Now, if you do have a trade account with this vendor, you can of course put your trade price in. You can include your markup, and the system will calculate the client-facing price for you. And that's the price that your client will see. I'm gonna grab the SKU. And I'll also come down here, let's see, here's the description right down here, we'll grab that as well. And all the information is autom automatically being added in without us having to manually type in all these details, so you're not wasting that time. You can do the same thing when you go down to grab the dimensions and material and finish. And once you've filled out all the fields, all you have to do is go back up here to where it says, where do you want to save this item? Now, if I click on this drop menu, it's gonna give me a number of options. So I could save it to my main library, which means I'll be able to access this product for any client project that I create within my Design Files account. Or I could also save it to a specific client project if I just wanna create that curated list of specific items for a particular project. I'm gonna save it to both, and I'll go down to the bottom and hit Save. And once that's saved, I'll be able to jump back over into my Design Files account, and I'm gonna be able to pull that product into any design board that I want to create. So let's just pop quickly over here, edit this design. I'm gonna go into my library because that's where I saved that item. There it is. And you can see the arrows on either side of it. So I can click on any of these arrows to flip through all the possible options that I can drag out onto my design board. 
So there you have it. In a few seconds, you can literally go to any website you want, grab product images, grab all the product details, immediately pop back over into your Design Files account and start adding those items to design boards. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do have any questions at all, feel free to always reach out. We're happy to help.